God is certainly doing something in the entertainment industry, and I'm seeing it all over the place. I got this story sent to me, texted to me, DM to me, WhatsApp to me by my Latin American friends about Daddy Yankee, super famous reggaeton artist who literally finished a show just the other day announcing his retirement from music so that he could pursue wholeheartedly his relationship with Christ. This is amazing. I'm going to play the video for you of exactly what he says. Uh, I want you to watch this because if unless you speak Spanish, you're not going to understand what he's saying. I want you to watch this and read what he's saying because his confession to me is so powerful and it's such an inspiration for for what I see God doing and what I want to I want you to lay a hold of in your own life and what God is calling you to do. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I create content for the kingdom. I train others to do the same. You could visit capchatfield.com to learn more about what I do and the content I do and things like that. But I want to help people like you flip culture upside down for the glory of God. God's got an assignment for you. And I hope that this video inspires you to lay hold of that assignment. But let's let's listen from Mr. Mr. Yankee himself about his uh, his life changing decision to go all in with Jesus. Mi gente, este venga para mí es el más importante de mi vida. Y se los quiero compartir porque no es lo mismo vivir una vida de éxito que una vida con propósito. Mm. Por mucho tiempo yo intenté llenar un vacío en mi vida que nadie pudo llenar. Trataba de rellenar y buscar un sentido a mi vida. En ocasiones aparentaba estar bien feliz, pero faltaba algo para hacerme completo. Y les tengo que confesar que ya esas vías terminaron. Alguien pudo llenar ese vacío que sentía por mucho tiempo. Me pude dar cuenta que para todos era alguien, pero yo no era nada sin él. Pude recorrer el mundo durante años, ganar muchos premios, aplausos y elogios, uh -huh. pero me di cuenta de algo que dice la Biblia. ¿De qué le vale al hombre ganar el mundo entero si pierde su alma? Por eso esta noche reconozco y no me avergüenzo en decirle al mundo entero que Jesús vive en mí. Jesus. Y que yo viviré para Él. La Biblia dice, todo aquel que lo reconozca en público aquí en la tierra, también lo reconocerá delante de mi Padre. Come on. What the heck, guys, for context. This guy is like, at least I remember growing up hearing one of his songs, Gasolina. That was like one of the most popular songs on the radio at that time. This dude is like, is crazy successful. I want you to see this. During his career, Daddy Yankee earned numerous accolades, including five Latin Gra Grammy Awards, two Billboard Music Awards, 14 Billboard Latin Music Awards, two Latin American Music Awards, Eight Lo Nuestro Awards, an MTV Video Music Award, and six uh, ASCAP Awards. I don't know what those are. But the point is, this dude, this dude got a taste of everything that this life has to offer. I want to speak to somebody right now that is trying to, trying to find fulfillment in their accomplishments, in their achievements, in their work, in how beautiful of a wife or a girlfriend or how handsome or rich of a boyfriend you have or what your body looks like. Dude, this guy has, he, this dude is like practically worshiped in the reggaeton world for a really long time. Granted, he might possibly be coming to the end of his career as far as uh, his energy and all that. I don't know. But at the, the point is though, what he's saying is he tasted everything that the world has to offer and he realized this doesn't satisfy. Let me tell you, friend, you were not created for this world. You were created for another world. And the reason why 
you might not be feeling satisfied in the job you have and the friends you have or your reputation or your relationships or the amount of money you have. Like it's never going to satisfy. And the reason why is because you were created for a different world and you were not created for yourself. And what we're seeing him do right now, he said, what, what is it to a man? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? You, I mean, I would imagine, ironically, in the world today, at least in the Western world, where we have access to everything that we could ever imagine from a comfort, ease, pleasure standpoint, you can, uh, if you're lonely, you can go turn on a website and you can get your needs filled there. I'll be as vague as that. If you're hungry, you don't have to go hunt and kill something. You just open up your phone, go to Uber Eats and have something delivered to you. Uh, even if you have like psychological issues, you can now do like online therapy. You could do like subscription-based therapy. Like everything is catered to us. And ironically, the world has gotten this much easier for so many people, yet depression is through the roof. Anxiety is through the roof. Self-esteem has gone through the floor. Depression or a divorce is through the roof. There's so, there's so many more problems in society when we have everything at our fingertips. And the reason why is because you can chase after all of those things. But if you don't fix that God-sized hole in your heart, if you don't take care of the eternal issue in your soul, all of those, all of those things are band-aids. They are not going to satisfy. But this is what's interesting. Jesus promised this. He said that if you try to chase after your life, meaning doing everything that Daddy Yankee was doing, I did that, by the way, for a long time. A lot of you know my story, my testimony. If you don't know it, go watch my full story on my YouTube channel. Went into the University of Miami, uh, an atheist, joined a fraternity, partied my face off, had my fill of the world, left me empty. Go watch the full testimony there. In his scenario, after he was chasing after his life, as Jesus said, it leads nowhere. You'll lose it. But then Jesus said, if you lose your life for my sake, you will surely find it. And that's what he experienced. When you give up your life for the gospel's sake, for the good news, for the kingdom, you'll find it. But guess what? There's even a greater blessing because you might be thinking, he's given up everything. What's he going to get in return for stopping doing music? I want you to see this amazing promise that we see in Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. I want to use the New King James Version so no one uh, accuses me of using a watered-down version. Matthew 19, 29 says, Jesus has promised to his disciples, and everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. Let me tell you that when you give yourself over completely to the provider, one of God's names in the Bible is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. When you and I choose to step out of the seat of saying, I'm not going to play the provider of my life anymore. I'm going to stop being the king. I'm going to stop playing God. I'm going to stop being the director. I am going to give my life over completely to God. I'm going to let him shepherd me. I'm going to let him provide. I'm going to let him, as long as I do what he's telling me to do, God's promise to you is that he will take care of you. God's promise to you. And let me tell you, God doesn't take care of his people in a skimpy way. God lavishes blessing. God lavishes favor. God lavishes opportunity over his people. If they, if they go all in with what his plan is for their lives. And so I'm excited to see what happens in Daddy Yankee's life. I'm excited to see what happens in his family, what happens in his ministry, what happens obviously in his soul as he makes this decision. But my, I, my, I want to finish this video with this encouragement to you. You're watching this video for some reason because this, this news caught your attention. I want to ask you transparently, I want you to be fully honest with yourself. What part of your life are you still holding on to? Because let me tell you this, when not that life doesn't have challenges, Jesus promised that we would have trials in this life. Jesus promised that we would have hardship, but he also said that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. 
And if you think, if you have this like half-hearted relationship with God, this lukewarm relationship with God, where maybe you worship him wholeheartedly, maybe you're pursuing him in the word, maybe you're, you're praying, maybe you're showing up to a church and you're feeling like, gosh, like this life is, it's like an uphill battle. Let me tell you, something's off. Something's off. Because Jesus promised that there'd be a grace. His grace would be sufficient for us, that there would be a power that we could walk in if we chose to fully surrender ourselves to him and to his spirit. But the question is, are you trying to get both, the best of both worlds? Are you living what it says in Matthew 6, that you would seek first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and allow God to add all of these things unto you? Or are you seeking after all the things of this world, hoping that eventually that will make time and space for you to pur- pursue the things of the kingdom? Guys, if you know my story, that's what I tried to do with my business for a while. And God's, God said, no, man. You're pursuing all these other things, hoping that the time to pursue my kingdom will be added to unto you. And that's not how it works. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. Your life, you, God was, God, God did not create you to have a life full of frustration. God created you to live a life of great exploits. God created you to live a life of anointing and favor. And again, I'm not saying that there aren't seasons of difficulty and challenge, but you should be able to go through those seasons of difficulty and challenge with a grace, with an open heaven over you of an anointing where you're like, dude, like I'm growing in this season. I'm not going backwards. I'm going forwards. God is pulling new things out of me. He's taking me from one level of glory to another level of glory. That can only happen, as it says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, if we lay aside Every sin, which we always talk about cutting out the sin in our lives, but not just sin, every sin and the weight, which so easily ensnares us. There's things in your life. I believe this for you right now. There's things in your life. I'm just going to declare this prophetically. There's things in your life that aren't sin, but they are absolutely distractions from the calling that God has placed on your life. The business to start, the ministry to start the family God has called you to steward and lead and invest in, the local church that God is saying, hey, stop stop throwing stones at your local church. Stop throwing stones at your pastor and your ministry leaders for how they don't do things the way that you would want them to do. And they don't do things the way that your old church used to do them. Hello, come on, somebody. Maybe God is saying, no, I want you to be planted and provide a solution there. But you have been distracted. And when you're distracted, you're not able to hear the voice of God. Because you're double-minded. And a double-minded man shouldn't expect to receive anything from the Lord because he's unstable in all of his ways. James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. Go ahead and read it. God wants to set you free. God wants to give you clarity. God wants his peace to rule in your heart. God wants to put you into a place of favor, of acceleration, of grace, of increase and expansion. But it's only going to happen if you say, God, prune. Prune the branches in my life that are no longer bearing fruit at all, and even prune the branches that are bearing fruit but need to be pruned that they may may even bear more fruit. I can see in this guy, as he's sharing this story, Daddy Yankee, I can see that there's this comes at a cost. When God tells you to lay something down, it's going to come at a cost. But let me tell you, that cost, the cost of not doing it is not worth the peace in your soul that you lose by not obeying. So Father, I just ask right now for everyone on the other side of the screen that you would give them the grace to obey you and to lay aside everything that's keeping them from fully pursuing you and your assignment for them in Jesus' name. And if you're one of those people that's like, I want to get, I want to know who this God is. I want to have that sort of confidence that I could lay down anything that he tells me to lay down and know that he's going to return to me something even greater as I pursue his kingdom first, you first need to begin a relationship with God. And if that's you, I want you to click the link in the description of this video to learn about what's going to happen to you when you die. 10 out of 10 people are going to die one day. God doesn't want you to be confused. And this is the most important question you'll ever ask ask yourself or get asked. Where will you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Are you in right standing relationship with God or not? You can find out today. Click the link in the description to watch that video. 
Otherwise, guys, let me know what you think about this awesome story in the comments. Like it so we can send in front of more people. Subscribe for more. And oh, by the way, if you want to uh, help support this channel and uh, get some amazing Three Nails gear, Three Nails clothing, uh, we're doing a 10% sale or it's actually up 10% with my promo code up to 50% off up to Christmas. So click the link in the description of this video. Use promo code CAP, K-A-P, to get 10% off off of everything plus the, the uh, Christmas sale discount. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video. Take care.